I see a hole, and in it a jar of tuna, a jar filled with tuna. But what does it mean, this jar of tuna in the abyss of my soul? Is it a sign? Is it a sign of things to come? Who is this tuna? Then it speaks to me. Your true father is a teaspoon of coffee, it says. If anything had ever rocked me to the core, it was this. The tuna. Oh, God, what then of the tuna? Was its adhesive bandaged soul not now attached to mine? This tuna would be my new brother, and I his appendix. Together we brewed many cups and giggled as we sipped in search of my father. It was a long journey. It was treacherous. Our journey was long and treacherous. We bested giants and conquered midgets. Yes, midgets aplenty. We wore the belts of the greatest kings until spies in the thick come no less to prevent the assertion of my bean-scented destiny. We went to run, but it was too late. They had cummerbunds. It was too late for me, but the tuna rolled off. It told me its part of my destiny was over. I awoke to the drumbeats of a thousand nations. They pelted me with plums aplenty. I was stained purple for many days, and thus was adopted by the purple people-eaters of legend who had rescued me from the League of Nations. I lived among these magenta cannibals for many months, helping them harvest eggplant and trade for their protection. The purple people had treated me well, but when a tribe of traveling ninja warriors passed through my new home, I knew I must ramble on. I joined them, for I felt their wisdom could help me on my quest and thus the lilac-tinted anthro-eaters were left behind, though I soon learned I was terribly wrong in my decision. I had misunderstood my malign mirth, and had not taken into account a montage of man malevolence. No, I would not be accessory to this mercury haberdashing. No, this was not my cup of absinthe and orange picot. Doom would not be the cream to my sugar. Violent resistance would not be my raspberry ice. I wouldn't let it. Instead, I drank deep of the earth and got but a sip of my father mixed with a tinge of... Tuna juice? My God, it all made sense now. The tuna had not engaged in an abuse of abandonment. I was alone, never more. And reportedly, Perry Hilton had this to say. That's hot.